time for another video. Today, what we're gonna do is part two of our monster thriftmas dolly haul. So, without a lot of talking, I'm gonna insert just in case you didn't watch part one, but if you want to, pause here, go back, watch part one, because there's 20 fantastic, blew my mind, monster high dolls that I never thought I'd have in my collection for just the first portion of this monster thriftmas doll video. Hey y'all, I'm just showing you this like this because there's absolutely no way I can show it in my regular setup because these bags are huge and full. I'm just gonna do real quick sneak peek down inside of this one. Real quick down inside of that one. Here's the two great big huge bags. Now we're gonna go over to the regular setup and start the video from there. Y'all know the drill. We're gonna go into part two. We're just gonna start in with what I got from my massive $50, if you can even believe it, Thriftmas Monster Haul. First, I thought I'd show you part of the accessories that I was able to score with this lot. I don't know what playset this goes to, but this is so stinking awesome. Look at this. It's got like a loofah here and it's got like a shower head thing up here that's purple. Really cool shower curtain with all this stuff on it. I would assume it's Laguna's, but I don't know for sure. And then look down here, the little like basin part of it. It's pink, pinky pinkness. This is just so cool. I'm not gonna put this in the background because there will hardly be enough room for the dolls, but I just wanted to show you part of extra stuff in the other bag besides the dolls that I got in this monster thrift miss haul. Then there's this whole bag of stuff. I'm gonna go through it real quick because I'm not trying to make these videos too long. That's why I've had to split it up. But there's this, which I'm assuming is part of some sort of like fashion pack or something that went to a doll. Looks like Cleo to me, but I don't know for sure. Look at these leggings, all the detail on these. This is amazing. What else is in here? There's a bunch of Monster High brushes. These are all the brushes. I dug everything else out. So there's like what? six brushes in here. Then there's this like little trapper keeper. If I can get it open without busting my nails. Oh, it's hard. Look at that. It's so cute. It even has the little skull at there and it's in this teal color and it's got the lightning bolts and stuff and the stitches. I think this goes to Frankie. And then there's this one beautiful lonely wing, which I don't know exactly who it goes to. Maybe Rochelle. I don't know. The other Rochelle that I showed in part one had her wings, so there's this. There's this little like purse thing. Look at this, look at all the detail on this stuff, y'all. I can't get over it. And I know there's stuff in here. There is this microphone, like what? Look at this awesome microphone that's all metallic and it's got the skullet at the top, that is so cool. There is this little drinky drink, look at this. Is this Cleo's because it looks like it has mummy wrap? Y'all are gonna have to tell me, let me know, please. Here is an earring. So maybe one of those dolls that was missing an earring this goes to, if you know, please let me know. If you know any of this stuff, you know who any of these accessories go to, any of these dolls that I don't know, like their names and what lines, please, please let me know. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it because this is gonna be so hard for me to figure out who all these are without y'all's help. Then there's this, looks like a little makeup palette with skullettes. So cute. What is this? What is this? I have no idea what this is supposed to be, but it's pink. Then there's, oh, that almost fell through my hand. This little tiny green bracelet. Then there's this, looks like a hair clip, some kind of flower. And then this, I'm not exactly sure. It's the skelet with little like lightning bolts. Super cute. It could be an earring. I don't know. And then lastly, this, whatever this little orange thing is, was down in this little purse. I'm trying to go fast and not take too long. There's this little pet, not sure who it goes to, but it's so cute. It looks kind of like a hedgehog or a porcupine, something like that, you can let me know. There's this purse that does open, nothing inside, but super cute. There's this awesome clapboard, this is so cool, it says Monster High on it. There's this little video camera. Look at all the detailing on it. Oh, I love this stuff, y'all. Look at this. This is so cool. There's these awesome sunglasses. There's like this monster film award. This is so cool. Look at this. Look at all the details, y'all. I can't stand it. I can, but you know what I mean. I can't stand it as in I love it. There's this vampire movie case with an actual DVD inside. I think that's what that's supposed to be that opens. This is so cool. There's this little lotion potion bottle. There's this little pink monster flag. There's this awesome quilted bag with the little skullet there. And look, there's like paper stuff inside. What is this? This is so cool. 
love all this stuff. There's this baseball hat with the spikes on top and the holes. I think this goes to the unicorn guy, but I don't know his name. There's this little purse that does open, but I don't know what you could get down in there with the little safety pin on top. This is so cute. I think this is another Frankie thing, right? There's this forearm and hand. I don't know who it goes to, but I have it. <laughs> there's this little sloth pet. Looks like it opens. Looks like there's paper or something down in there, but we'll just leave it for now. There's this backpack. And the final thing is these, what I think are arm cuffs. They could be leg cuffs, I don't know. But if you know who any of this stuff goes to, please, please let me know in the comments. And then there's this bag of stands, which I counted. There are 17 that are complete, like they have their waist clip and their base. Then there's this bunch down here at the bottom that are just stick pieces and whatnot that don't have their completer pieces. And then whatever this is, I am not sure, y'all. This little heart thing, I don't know what this goes to, but I'm assuming it goes to something Monster High related. And there's also this, which I'm not exactly sure what this goes to, but I'm sure someone out there knows and can tell me. And then there's these, there's a bunch of different ones. Jane Boo Little, Honey Swamp, which I didn't see a Honey Swamp, but I do have a Honey Swamp from a long time ago. So I have a book that goes with it. And then Howling Wolf, yay. And then Frankie Stein. And then this, that looks like a comic book. And then this, Vipering Gorgon, and then this, Avia Trotter, and Elizabeth. And now, onto the dolls. First, we have this beautiful Toralai. She looks mostly complete. It looks like she's missing an earring from this ear, but this ear has both earrings in it. Now, her stripes, I've come to know from just watching other people's videos and hauls and whatnot that these hardly ever stay, so I'm not mad about that because she's definitely going to need her hair fixed regardless, but she looks to be complete. Like I said, this is even still tea tag to her. Like, what in the world? Her little belt here with the little monster high skullette in the middle, and then her little leggings with the ribs. These are so cute. And the shoes. The shoe shoe shoes. Love me some Monster High shoes, especially G1. These are awesome. She is gorgeous. She doesn't really have anything wrong. She has a little bit of schmutz on her nose and some, you know, like dirt spriggles or whatever you want to call it, but nothing that couldn't be fixed with just a general little wash. And next we have this pretty, pretty Claudine. Oh, I love her face and her eye makeup. Look at the lashes and the lips. Oh, and she's got this cute little hairdo, this little up ponytail with the like little down pieces on the side and the cute bangs, the two-tone. Oh, I love this. And it looks like she's complete with her earrings and she's got this little thing around her ponytail and she has her bracelet and her necklace and her belt. So I'm assuming she's complete. Just look at these shoes. Y'all, I'm trying to go fast, but be complete. I know that some of y'all, like I've never seen a lot of these dolls and some of y'all will probably be thinking, how did this happen? Just like I am. Again, for anybody who didn't watch part one, I paid $50 for all of this stuff everything and I know I'm gonna have to have a part three because there's just too many dolls and too many things to show you without them being like 40 minutes even with me going fast y'all and then we have this amazing I'm probably gonna say this wrong but is it mistress blood good or something of that nature I was pretty sure she came in a set with like a horse and stuff and I think maybe that tall thing was hers from the pack I just showed you that had the stands in it. I'm not sure. Y'all can let me know, but she is so cool. I've seen her before, but again, this is one I just thought I would never have just because they're so hard to get. And I think she's complete. Looks like she has her shoes. She has her whole little outfit here. Look at this. This is made so nice. Look at this. <gasps> with the undershirt and the pinky pink tie. This is so cool, y'all. I can't even with this. And the ruffles. Oh, I love it. And the ruffles here and the way her hands are posed. Oh, stinking cool. Now she has a rubber band here, which makes me think that she was supposed to have something in her hand, but I don't know what. Like I've said probably multiple times, if you know anything about any of these dolls, please let me know. It'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. Next, we have this guy who I believe is Heath Burns. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I I think that's who this is. Look at him. Oh, he's so cool. I'm not much for the boy dolls. That's just me as a collector, but the Monster High ones and like the Disney ones, I love them. And some of the Kens I really do like, like the Rockers and stuff like the Derek. But like, look at him. He's got the blue skin tone. Now, does he not have, no, he doesn't have articulated wrists. That's weird. I've never seen one like that. But anyway, he's got all this cool stuff. Look at this jacket and the pleather. 
and then the undershirt and the belt these fire pants these are so cool and the shoes look at these shoes y'all i'm loving all the details on all this stuff he's really cool to me i don't care i love the little earring in the eyebrow that is so cool and his face he has a nice sculpt to his face and i like his blue lips <laughs> Next, we have this beautiful girl. I believe this is Katrine Demieu. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Her hair is gelled for days. And she's got that weird, like, discoloring that they get when the skin tone is white from, like, the glue. But I'm pretty sure I can fix that. Now, the back of the hair is all kind of stiffy, too. So she's definitely going to get a treatment. But he's so pretty. I love the little beauty mark by the eye and the dusty gray purpley on her lips and her little nose and then all her cute little stuff she has a little glove hands and a little belt looks like she's a makeup artist or something because of that and then oh there's more stuff on the back look at that that's so cool those look like lipsticks or something maybe i love the little neck scarf that's so cute and the shoes oh with the shoes i'm in heaven look at these these look like paint brushes the heels what in the world? And then the little rosette there. Oh, these dolls are so awesome, y'all. I can't believe I scored all of these. I'm so excited I'm missing things, but she's missing her tail. And if I didn't say so, it's Torelai. Next, we have this Frankie. Now, she is one of those different ones with the, like, hard plastic head because she made noise or did something. I'm not sure what these are called. Like, it's in my brain, but I can't think of it. Her outfit is a little dingy, but she looks to be complete. She has her little skullette there and her earrings and her little belt, cute little dress, and these shoes. Oh, these shoes are to die for. I know they're kind of simple, but I love them. The black and white, so cute with the little strap at the ankle. Love, love, love it. See, she doesn't like up, down, side, side, or head, nothing. It doesn't move. So if y'all know who she is, please let me know. And next we have this, which I believe is Deuce, Deuce Gorgon, right? He has a little bit of a dot there on his chin, but nothing I can't fix. Looks like he's missing an earring. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. He looks to be complete other than that though. He's got his little buttons and the little things that look like they actually zip on the pockets there. He's got a bracelet and his little suspenders and his belt and these awesome pants. These really cool shoes. Look at all this. Look at his little like snakes and all the stuff in his hair. These are so cool. I love these. I guess I just didn't know because I've never had any of the boy dolls except for one I got a really long time ago. I think right around when I first started my channel, I got like a lot of dolls. I had some Monster High and some Ever After High and there was one boy doll, I believe, the one with the unicorn head. I don't know who he is. The boys, do they not have wrist articulation? Did I just not know that all this time? But anyway, other than that, I love him. He is so cool. Love the eyes, love the face sculpt. So awesome. These dolls are in such good condition, y'all. I can't even believe it. Dolly Count Check. This one makes number eight. This Laguna. Don't know which Laguna she is. She has, you know, the greasy root problem, but we've discussed this. I have a remedy for it. I have a video tutorial where I showed you guys how I get rid of it and it turns the hair absolutely beautiful. You can never even tell that they had grease root. This girl, look at this again. In part one, I had one like this. I didn't take this off the hand. She's super cute. She's kind of plain, but she's still cute to me and I love her face such a pretty face and I love the two-tone and the hair the streaks and stuff with the goldy blonde with the blue she has both of her fins and look at these shoes y'all I can never get over the shoes even when they're not detail painted there's so many details a little skullette all the little like rivets and the holes and all the cool stuff just love it next we have this beautiful Cleo denial this has to be one of the prettiest Cleos I've ever seen I love her face and her little short bob look it even still has the tea tag in it I can't even believe it. Look at the tinsel, the red tinsel. I just love this combo. I've never seen this girl before. She seems pretty plain as far as Monster High goes. Like, I love the plain red shoes and the simple dress and then little red necklace. She doesn't seem to have any, like, bracelets or earrings or anything. Let's see under here. Yeah, no earrings. So I don't know, but I love her and I'm super glad to have her and add her to my collection. Yay! Next, we have this hot beautiful pinky hot what I believe is haunted and this blush pinky color she's gorgeous y'all her hair is exquisite it's such my perfect bubblegum pink oh my goodness and her face is so unique I love it I love all the pearly pinkness pinky pinky pinkness now she has a bracelet here and then this chain around her neck this pink dress with the bat wings coming out and then these adorable shoes 
Look at these shoes, y'all. I just can't get over this. Look at all the detail. There's little bats at the bottom here and then the little tea taggy things again, never taken out. Super pretty. She's gorgeous, y'all. Love, love, love the pinkness. Next we have this. Venus McFly trap. She looks to be one of the like beach ones because she's just wearing a swimsuit. She has these bracelets on. No earrings though. And she has a little side pony going on with her little flocked side. The flocked side is a little messed up but not too bad. Especially for the age of this doll. I think that probably happened in packaging. This probably just got scraped off but I could probably fix that no problem. And then these little vine things on her legs are so cool and then the shoes the shoes are always awesome y'all I can never get over it these dolls are in really good condition for what I paid for four or five of these dolls if that would have been $50 from somebody who knew what they had so like I feel so lucky and blessed to have these beauties in my collection now. And next we have, I believe this is Gil Weber. Don't ask me how I know some of their names and some of them I don't, but I'm pretty positive that's who he is. He has both of his leg fins and his arm fins. And see, he has the wrist articulation. So I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew some of them did, but I don't know why those don't. Sure, some of y'all out there know why and you can tell me. Now he is missing one of his flip-flops, which is so sad because it looks like he's complete otherwise. He has his neck gills even. Wow, those probably could have came out. He's got a little bit of staining right there. Nothing I can't fix. I love his like head gill. That's so cool. Was he a lifeguard? Because he's got this maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's just beachy because he's, you know, fish person. <laughs> I love the like fishbone kind of motif on his shirt and then the ocean wave on his pants. I love these swim trunks. These are so cool. These dolls are so awesome, y'all. See, this is why I love the Monster High boys and the Disney boys because they're so unique to me. I just love them. Belly count check. This Laguna Fire, I'm almost positive that's who this is, makes 13. She looks to be complete as well. She even has her gold leg fins and look at these awesome neon pink, pinky pink shoes, y'all. Just the shoes. I can't get over it. And I love her texturing on her skin. I do have one of these. I got a long time ago, but she was not complete whatsoever. I believe she had her dress, no shoes. She was missing her leg fins. She might have had this cagey thing, but she definitely didn't have this in her hair. And her hair was not in the original condition on the one that I had. I turned her into like a Halloween doll custom, the other Laguna Fire that I have. Now this one, yeah, I think, yeah, she's missing her tail. Other than that, I think she's complete. Maybe she was supposed to have earrings. I'm not sure. Like I keep saying, sorry, but if y'all know, please let me know. Next we have Twyla. Look at her. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. I've never had an original G1 Twyla. I only have a G3. She has her bracelets and then the two-tone skin, which I love. And this bracelet over here, awesomeness. It looks like a skullette. And then she's got her little like smoky down her legs with these cute little shoes. Look at these shoes. <gasps> I love the heel. These are so detailed. It even has a little spider there. That is so cool. Love this little ruffly skirt and her little belt and her little purple top and her just little self. Look how teeny she is. I've got her on the table. Look how much smaller she is than all of the other ones. She does appear to have both of her earrings and no necklace, but I don't know if she came with one. So here is my very first G1 Twyla. Next we have this beautiful Abby. Look at her with the like snowflake design by her eyes with the sparkles in this adorable wintry looking dress with one, two, three layers, one pink, one on top with snowflakes, and then one like tooly, sparkly layer underneath. Her skin is so iridescent, super sparkly. It's so nice. And then look at these crystally boots. Oh my goodness, these are to die for, y'all. Look at this. That looks like an icicle for the heel. What? These dolls are so amazing, y'all. I can't even get over it. She has beautiful hair, just needs a little brushing, and the tinsel is still nice and everything. It looks to be in its original style. She is gorgeous, y'all. I can't believe I scored these dolls. I really can't. I know I've probably said that five or six times, but these are just awesome. And they barely look even touched or played with. Look at the skin. Look at the iridescence still on the skin. I can't get over it. I'm so in love with all these dolls. Dolly count check. This Frankie makes number 16. 
All right, y'all, this will be the inserted clip because sadly I noticed when I was editing part two of the Monster Thrift Miss haul, some of the footage got corrupted and you didn't get to see four of the dollies, not for real. So we're gonna do that right now, right here. First girl that didn't get shown completely is this adorable Frankie. She's so cute. She might be one of my favorites of the like non-fancy ones that I got out of this lot. She is so adorbs. Like her face, I just love, love, love. I think it's probably the high pony and the bangs. Super adorable. She has her earrings, her bracelets, the little neck bolts. I love when the neck bolts are fancy silvery tone. I know that's silly. It's small, but it's something I like. Her little short jacket, this adorable little dress with the two little layers, and these shoes. Once again, with the shoes, they're kind of simple, but I love them. They're so cute. Oh, and the belt. What can we say about this adorable belt with the little skullette? So, so cute. So, I think she was number 13 or something like that because I was doing a dolly count check and I pressed pause and I guess I must have pressed it twice. So, that that's why I have to redo these girls, but I wanted you to see them in their full glory and I didn't want to just have them omitted like they would have been. So I made another little setup and I'm going to add this to that video so y'all can see these beauties. Next in line was a this girl. Now I don't know who she's paired with. I know this is a freaky fusion and I know it's Torali and somebody. The girl without the like eye. I'm drawing a blank on who that is. I know you guys will help me and tell me. She has her tail, but it's attached to the belt which is kind of funny but anyway she has pretty good striping in her hair I love the cat ears I love the green lip her hair is in pretty good condition it's just a little gel nothing a little wash wouldn't take care of which is awesome I love this pleathery jacket that she has this is so cool I kind of really like this bright orange and white motif she has going on I love that the one lapel has the pattern to it and the other one doesn't so cute and then here's like the belty thing with the tail in the back she has these cute little pants with the safety pin motif and the little patch there that is so cute. And then once again, the shoe, shoe, shoes. I love these shoes. I know they're simple, but I really love that they did paint these buckles in the front and that her little toe toes are out. That's so cute. I just love that. She has her little bracelet. No earrings, but it doesn't look like she had space for earrings from what I can see. So there is this awesome girl. I know she's a freaky fusion, and like I said, I know she's Torali, but who else is she? Let me know, please. And next we have Ha, oh, this beautiful, beautiful, oh, I love her. Claudine from I believe the Haunted line. I think you guys told me that yes this is haunted but I might be saying like the wrong way. Might be haunted something else but anyway here she is. I absolutely love. This has to be one of my favorite hair color combos. It's such a pretty blend of purpley like colors and it's so shiny and it's so soft and it's so nice. And if I didn't say I get so excited. Frankie's hair is really nice. It doesn't feel like it has any grease root which a lot of these have had but I don't mind. Like I said, I have a tutorial where I can fix that. But this girl, love her look. I love how the makeup streak across her eyes goes so well with the purpley hair. And then she has the purpley lip. This Claudine is very purple, but I love, love, love her. And she has all these neck chains and then this waist chain thing going on with her little moons, her crescent moons and stuff, all her little symbols. She has this little bracelet that most of the ones that I thought were from the Haunted line had this kind of bracelet, if I'm not mistaken. And then she's got this little booly flounce on the bottom of her dress. It's kind of short, but it's still very, very cute. And then, ha 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 ha, these awesome, awesome G1 shoes. There is no painted details on this, but this pair of shoes is just awesome to me. I can't even with these shoes. This is like top five of the shoes that I've seen. I love these shoes. These are so, so cool. I am one that does like to every once in a while paint details, but I don't think I'd touch these. I love these. I love the little dress. It's kind of pinky purpley with the little moons and whatnot. This doll is just gorgeous to me. I love this Claudine and her hair seems to be up in its original style still. No earrings on this one, but it doesn't look like she has holes for earrings. So there is this beautiful haunted Claudine. On to the last girl. The last girl for this inserted portion is this absolutely gorge, gorge, gorge Leo. Oh, 
love her. I love these lips with the dark liner and then the chocolatey brown in the middle. Just so pretty. This is such a gorgeous Cleo. Most of the Cleos are absolutely gorgeous to me if I have not said that. She has her earrings, both of them. Her tinsel is a little messed up, but I'm not mad at it. Nothing I can't fix or make better. Her eye makeup is so beautiful. I just love the face on this one. Now her outfit is awesome as well. I love the iridescence on the top here and the little off the shoulder. Then she has the little arm cuffy and the little bracelets as well. And she has this cool Egyptian looking belt thing with her little mini skirt and her tights with the little accents of the yellow, silver, and black on it. I just love that. And then again, can we with the shoes. The shoe, shoe, shoes. These are so awesome. And they're kind of plain but just a little bit of extra detailing painting they did there and then on the front here just so awesome I can never say enough about how awesome I think the G1 shoes are there is this beautiful beautiful Cleo her hair like I said in really good condition just a little messed up with the tinsel there are these four girls that the footage got corrupted whatever you want to say I had to redo them so you guys could see them in their full glory so here are the four girls just so you can see them all standing up and now back to the original video all right y'all last doll ha, 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 ha. and a super duper braille doll for me. I have always, always, always wanted Pauline and now I have one and I've always wanted this one in particular. I think she's the first one. Could be wrong. Before they made her with pink hair. Now I know that might sound crazy to some of y'all that have been around my channel for forever and know what a pinkaholic I am, but this one just spoke to me in a way. I love the pink one, don't get me wrong. I would love to have one of her too, but this is the one that I wanted the most. And now I have her and I can't even believe it. She looks complete and she's on the little itty bitty little sister body. Oh my goodness, look at her. Just look at her. Now I think that is not supposed to be on her face there, but I can definitely get that off. I love the bubblegum pink lip. Look at the necklace and then this like strap across her bracelets and this arm cuff and her cute little shorts and then the one legging and then the one sock and these awesome, awesome shoes, y'all. I can't, I can't even. I love the little hoodie that has the space for her little ears to go through. She's so adorable. And she even has like a safety pin through her ear and her hair looks to be in beautiful condition. Just needs a little zhuzhing up, nothing I can't handle. And I have this grail for me anyway. Howling Wolf, I believe that backpack was hers from the accessories at the beginning of the video. You can let me know if I'm wrong. I think she's complete. Please let me know if she's complete. I hope she is. But even if she's not, I'm so super lucky and glad to have her. And yay, we made it through part two. This is 20 more dolls. So that's 40 dolls so far, plus all those accessories and stands, playset pieces. And I still have a whole nother bag of dolls to show you. Can you even believe it? Well, y'all, we did it. Another portion of this monster, gigantic Thriftmas haul. This was part two. So if you've been with me to this point in the video, I have to say huge hugs and holiday Christmas love for this monster thrift miss video. And I also have to say thank you. Thank you so much for being with me and for watching y'all. As always, I hope everybody watching is well, happy and safe. Having a great, great, great dolly dolly day. Merry, Merry Christmas, happy holiday, whatever you celebrate. And that all the good, best things that are in this life that can come to you, I honestly, truly hope they will. I have to say, Hey, great big, huge, 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 huge thriftmas monster high subscriber love to all you wonderful, lovely subscribers. I can never say enough. There are no words to describe how great, how wonderful, how awesome y'all are, how much I truly thank you for literally everything y'all do. It is just so special to me. I thank you for hitting that button and coming along the journey and saying, hey, be like your dolly silliness and craziness. So thank you, thank you so very much, y'all. <laughs> you haven't subscribed yet. I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on, y'all. Come and join Great Big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built here because we would love, love, love to have y'all. I do everything here in my power to make sure you have a safe dolly space, a fun dolly space where we can share, do all kinds of dolly goodness, have thrift videos, have vlog, tutorials, shorts, anything you can think of in the dolly world. I'm gonna try it right here. Have fun 
while we're doing it. So if you want to become part of that, the great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built here, come along and join us. Because as I always say, absolutely everyone, no matter what you're into, is always, always welcome here. Well, y'all, we did it. We made it through this great big part two of our giant monster thrift mist. So y'all know what I'm gonna say. Happy, happy dolling. Merry Christmas. Happy holiday. Whatever you celebrate, I hope it's a good one and it's happy. And bye y'all.